Some good news for people hitting the road this holiday weekend. AAA says gas prices are falling. The national average for a gallon of gas is nearly $4.86, which is a nine cent dip from dip from last week. Analysts say lower oil prices and the fear of a potential recession are helping lower the price. The trend is expected to last for the next few days. AAA predicts close to 48 million Americans will travel at least 50 miles from home between today and July 4th. The Texas woman accused of killing a world-class cyclist in Austin last month has been arrested. 34-year-old Caitlin Armstrong was found hiding in Costa Rica, and she is now in the custody of U.S. Marshals. Armstrong had been on the run for 43 days. She had flown to San Jose and was staying in a hostel on a beach. Officials accused Armstrong of murdering 25-year-old Anna Mariah Wilson on May 11th. Investigators believe her motive may have been jealousy sparked by romantic interests. Wilson previously dated Armstrong's boyfriend, and the pair were together the day of the murder. The U.S. Marshal's Office says Armstrong will be brought back to the U.S. to face homicide charges. Coming up, Doppler Dave has a look at our storm track weather forecast. He's standing by right now. Doppler. Yeah, again, we're looking at those uh, chances for some rain at zero, but temperatures falling into the 80s. We'll show you Doppler radar, where the storms are, where they're headed. It's all coming up next. Start your day off right with what happened overnight, plus live coverage of breaking news and weather and traffic on the 7s. Good morning, El Paso. The team you know. The team you trust. Feeling like ice cold lemonade. Nowhere to go when you're in the shade. Nowhere to go when you're in the cage. Feeling like, feeling like. Visit Fox Acura of El Paso for attractive offers on the Integra. A one, two, three, four. Four for the fourth. At Household Furniture, four for the fourth means more for the fourth than ever before for the fourth. It starts with huge savings store wide, plus up to an extra $500 off or no interest for up to 60 months. Buy a Tempur Pedic mattress and get a free gas card. Count them up. That's one, two, three, four ways to save. Four for the fourth. Going on now at Household Furniture. It's a great time to buy a new truck at Rudolph Chevrolet. We have new Silverado crew cabs, trail bosses, and Colorado pickups here now and more arriving daily. It's also a great time to buy a used vehicle at Rudolph Chevrolet with over 200 used cars, trucks, and SUVs to choose from. And remember, at Rudolph Chevrolet, we buy cars. Come get your new Chevy truck today at Rudolph Chevrolet. We're at I-10 and Red Road. Summer is finally here, and at Southwest University, we know that when you study hard, you get to play hard. With 20 careers to choose from, you take SU with you anywhere you go. With flexible schedules, you can turn your thinking caps into baseball caps. Why settle for one when SU can make both happen? Because in SU, the summer fun starts in the classroom. Come visit us at our new main office location on 6101 Montana Avenue. The Lovett Law Firm is an award-winning personal injury firm serving the El Paso and Las Cruces communities. We have a team of seven attorneys in five locations to serve you. I decided at the age of 10 to become a lawyer when my mom got hurt and the insurance company took advantage of her. After 27 years of service, we're proud to have come so far and look forward to serving you. If you've been injured, we're here to help. You're going to love it. Visit Fox Acura of El Paso for attractive offers on the Integra. ABC 7 Storm Track Weather is sponsored by Mattress Firm. ABC 7 Storm Track Weather, always tracking first to alert. Well, we are looking and tracking at some showers and thunderstorms that are out there on the Doppler radar. We're going to check out our camera, look at the skies. You know, we do have some instability out there. We have the fuel in place. We have the moisture in place, and hence the clouds have been developing across town. And we've been looking at these clouds hanging out this afternoon. They're going to be with us tonight as we continue to track some of the showers that are out there. Now, south of Sierra Blanca, uh, this wave of energy, these thunderstorms have weakened quite a bit now as they 
drift down towards the south up in the Gila, right around Silver City. Also some thunderstorms there in Luna County. South of Deming primarily, you could see some of these storms. We have the colors going too, the oranges and the reds, which is indicative of some heavier rains. We're also picking up some lightning, so certainly some storms. These are not severe thunderstorms. Generally, some light to moderate rain, which are coming out of these cells, and they're all making their way down towards the south. We talked about earlier the heavier storms farther out towards the west of us. We're looking at 96 degrees. It is rather muggy, rather hot. 93 in Las Cruces, 95 in Deming. We have 88 in Sierra Blanca. They had clouds there, a little rain cool there. 50s up in Cloudcroft and 75 up in Rio So if you look at our, our seven day forecast now, you'll notice the chance of rain at 10% tomorrow, mainly later in the day. 20% chance for Saturday, Sunday. You'll notice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all three days in a row. I mean, Monday's the holiday, the 4th of July. We have a 40% chance of storms, and on Thursday, a 20% chance of storms. So here's a look at our latest future track computer model. This model is really keeping us dry in here tonight, not indicating a whole lot of activity whatsoever. But all it takes is a little outflow boundary, a little gust of wind that can develop from some of these storms that we could really blow up with some activity like we saw last night throughout parts of El Paso, Donata County with some of the storms. Notice by one o'clock tomorrow afternoon, some of the storms begin to bubble up and move off towards the west and the southwest. So hence we do have that 10% chance of a thunderstorm. And like I said, the rain chances go up a little bit over the weekend. We're going to be talking about that 20% chance of storms. 96 tomorrow, 96 on Saturday, 95 on Sunday. There's a chance for some rain. 10 to 20 percent. Then once we head into the holiday, Monday on July 4th, 93. So we'll keep our temperatures low to mid 90s all the way through a good portion of next week. 40 percent chance of storms Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then down to about 20 percent by our Thursday. We'll be back after this. Find new roads at Rudolph Chevrolet. We're at I-10 and Red Road. At ABC7, we made it easy to get the most out of the KVIA Storm Track Weather and Traffic app. Just point your phone at the screen to get step by step videos about how to set alerts on our app. Get hyper local weather conditions and custom severe weather alerts wherever you live and work. You'll be the first to know when severe weather heads your way. Use it to keep your family safe. Scan the code, get the app, get the alert. Sponsored by Mattress Firm. Stars and Stripe Savings are even bigger this weekend at Ashley. Shop doorbusters up to 50% off. Find this three-piece dining set, now only $149. Or this queen bed, now only $249. In store Thursday through Monday only at Ashley. Can you believe this? Doug Flutie and Frank Thomas. You guys look great. Once I turn 40, let me guess, less energy, less drive. Definitely. It's not your fault. It happens to every man. Testosterone levels drop as you age. It happened to you guys? Yep. So what did you do? We, we got, got Nugenics, Nugenics Total, Total Tea. Tea. To get your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea, text GIANT to 321321. This unique man-boosting formula is powered by Testofen, a patented key ingredient clinically researched to help increase testosterone levels. That does it. I gotta get Nugenics. Just send a text for a complimentary bottle. And by the way, she'll like it too. Get your complimentary bottle of Nugenics now. Text GIANT to 321321. Text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenics Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever, with key ingredients to help you get back in shape fast, absolutely free. That's G-I-A-N-T to 321321. Doing great ride, right? This Silverado keeps me connected and in control. And this touchscreen is my command center. Uh, my command center. The 2022 Silverado LT. Find new control. Find new roads. Well-qualified buyers can get 1.9% financing on all 2022 Silverado 1500 pickups. Visit your local Chevy dealer this holiday weekend. Chevy Drives Texas. Find new roads. The state championship is in his future, but tetanus isn't. Did you know teenagers still need vaccines beyond childhood? Ask your child's doctor and keep them protected for the future. Every dose matters. 
for five days only at Ashley Stars and Stripes Weekend Sale. Take advantage of our biggest offer ever. Save 25% off with no minimum purchase or get 0% interest for five years with absolutely no money down. In store Thursday through Monday only at Ashley. Desert Hope Apartments opened 10 months ago, and since then, nearby residents and business owners blame the apartment tenants for an increase in crime and drug use in the area. Desert Hope is housing for homeless people, and Las Cruces Mayor Ken Yagashima had lobbied for initial funding. He toured the property with ABC7 after hearing mixed reports about the complex's current condition. ABC7's Jason McNabb has more from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. Mayor Ken Miyagashima dropped into the Desert Hope Apartments earlier today to get a first-hand view to see just how bad these apartments that he personally lobbied for have gotten in just under a year. You think you could open this for me? Uh, who are you? Who are you from visit? I'm going to see who wants to talk to me. Who? I'm the mayor of the city. And um, we, 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 yeah, we help pay for this building. And I'm hearing a lot of reports. I know that, I, 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 I'm hearing a lot of reports that you guys are having problems, and I want to see if there is a And I want to see what we do to help. I don't know if you guys know how much we spent for this building. I heard it was a lot. Six million. Jeez. That's a lot of money. That that's, a lot money. that's 150000 per unit. And so we want to make sure that those that are here, that they're looking forward to a nice home, a, a place to live, a, you know, a safe place, a clean place. We want to make sure that you all have that good experience. Individual tenants don't really get that, sure. that, that attention you know, that they could, they could use. They don't need just a home. They need real support and real love. That's what they need in order for them to transform. They need real support and real love in order for it to work. We're really excited about the future of Desert Hope Apartments. We have come together with our partners that helped make this happen. We have property management that is slated to start uh, tomorrow. Um, and we also have taken some other measures in terms of supportive services and security to ensure that this is a safe place for the residents living here and the neighborhood. Now, we made multiple calls to the new property manager, JL Gray Company, to see if they had a comment, but they did not get back to us. Reporting in Las Cruces for our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jason McNabb, ABC7.